Hi, this is Guav Moment. Welcome back to Sylphid. Gonna go with an uh, antimatter bomb, I think, for this level. Okay, so this is clearly the moon, and there's Earth over there. So it, the whole transition of Jupiter, asteroid belt, Mars, moon, Earth seems to make sense. There's not a lot of plot to this game, so you kind of have to uh, figure out the plot yourself. Uh, oh god, do I hate these enemies. You fire this arc of things for you to dodge, and then that photon torpedo-like thing straight at you. I made it look easy previously, but they hit you almost all the time. Then you got these missile guys who are trying to get behind you. And then you miss your antimatter bomb. Lovely. But uh, all things considered, uh, I would say this is my second least favorite level. Uh, again, something about the music just doesn't do it for me. And, uh, okay, I'm kind of getting sick of floating around the moon here. Especially coming after that awesome space battle in the last stage. Ah! Missiles that explode into things. Fortunately, I'm managing to keep my health topped up here. Well, I'm having none of this guy's crap. I'm just gonna antimatter bomb him to death. Uh, this box laser seems to distract my uh, my auto aiming, but since he doesn't move when he's firing it, I can get to the sweet spot and fire both beams directly backward, finishing him off. For stage ten, it's very important that you do not take photon torpedoes. Uh, shield, I guess. So we've made it down to the surface of the Earth now. This level uh, has a, a rather a neat trick to it. it. It's very difficult to see the enemies because of all the blue and texture. And it's, when the game crashes, that also makes it rather difficult. So let's pretend that didn't happen. So yeah, the, the blue here makes it kind of difficult to see what's going on, and then all the texture... Not exactly fair. I don't know how this turns out in videos. Like, when I'm playing it, uh, lasers look like blue and yellow, but in the video there's a little bit of purple to them. So I'm not sure how this is going to look in videos when I process it. I don't know why it does that, but... It's just kind of hard to make out shots in this. Especially with these guys, with all this flashing nonsense, it's all just bright. So if you, uh... think you might have figured out the gimmick of this level, it's a bit of a boss rush. I'm, uh... have my shield up, so I don't want to waste it colliding into these guys. I'll uh, just try to survive for now. I didn't want to. I couldn't use my photon or my antimatter bomb because I used it last level. I can't use my photon torpedo because I need it for the next level. So might as well make the best out of my shield if I've got it. I've got lots of shield. I'll try to. 
conserve option energy. So thanks for the destroy all now that the uh, all the bosses are gone. They have it set up so that you can't there's no destroy power-ups when there are any mini bosses around. I don't think it'd be possible to have two on the screen at the same time. A huge boss! Oh, it's the same size as all the others. And he's got this stupid fireball gimmick. That blocks your shots. But that uh, space station in the background, you might have recognized that. I think they showed it at the cutscene at the end of Stage 1. That's, that's where the final level is. I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to kill this guy in time, but I don't think it matters. Oh, that's... Try not to dodge through enemies. Okay, well, he got away, but it doesn't matter. We're on to the final level. 